Hello everyone, this is Noor and welcome back to my channel. Just so let you guys know, when you watch the last clip of this video, I forgot to put my nose ring on. So, yeah, now it's on. <laughs> and for some reason today, I feel like Kara Baskin. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. The leopard in me came out. For today's look, I'm going to be using Ross's palette from the Series 3 from Makeup Evolution and Friends Collection. And if you guys haven't watched already, I already uploaded two videos on here using two different palettes from the series. And also, I filmed the haul of the series showing you guys what I bought. You're going to see the two tutorials at the end of this video and the haul is going to be somewhere up here. So you guys could go ahead and click it after watching this video or you can go ahead and click it, watch it and then come back and watch this one. Today's look is going to be from the Ross palette and I have to say this is a very wearable palette it's quite neutral it's quite fun a lot of things that you can create with it and I really like the pigmentation of it as well I'm very 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 impressed by it and also for the lips I went ahead and I took you guys back with the series one and I use Ross's gloss today yeah and this is what I came up with today I honestly super obsessed with this look I love it so much and I cannot wait to share it with you guys but before I go ahead and start off of the tutorial if you're new here to my channel thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching my video please hit the subscribe button and the notification button to get notified every time i upload a new video and i would love to have you guys aboard on the light family that i have here on my channel now if you guys want to learn how i created this look please keep on watching So before I go ahead and start off with the eyes, I want to show you this again. My lips are not so chapped as last time. I did apply it and I forgot to hit play and then I was like, oh crap, I need to hit play. So yeah, so this is how it looks like on smooth lips. It's still pretty blue, I find, but it's still beautiful. Oh, and this is the blue lipstick, the lipstick for men from uh, Makeup Revolution. And friends, I don't hate it. I actually really like it and it's super smooth on the lips and it's very hydrating. So I'm just gonna keep it on till I finish the eye and face tutorial and then we'll kind of go back to the lips at the end. Before I really need a sip of this, coffee is the best. So today's look is mainly more on the neutral tones as you guys can see. And I'm still going to go ahead and apply a white primer. Um, or a white concealer. This is from Kat Von D and this is the white out concealer and I will be blending this out with the brush and then going over with it with my finger just to have a smooth surface. So the first color I'm grabbing is called My Sandwich. This one is kind of like a light peachy tone and I'm gonna be grabbing this with a big fluffy brush at first and I'm just not going to be super clean with this. I'm literally just applying this color and for this look i'm really focusing all the eyeshadows today all in the inner corners um, not so much in the outer corners i don't know why i just woke up today and i felt like a rebel girl with a leopard shirt <laughs> and that's what i felt like today i'm just gonna go ahead and pack this color as you guys could see this is a very like you can't see it that well on camera but in real life this color is quite pigmented you know for a light shade um you can still see it and i really like it and it's a perfect natural color i mean you can just wear this and go like no joke it's just a beautiful everyday kind of tone and i'm lightly fading it out um but not doing anything crazy on the outer corners like i said just a an eyeliner and just smoking it out i'm kind of doing like the reversed look like dark here dark here light here and light here so I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this color inside and just kind of have it as like a background color. If you look closely, you will still see it, you know, in the background and that's what we want. Next color is called Keyboard, which is the shade right here. Now, I didn't really see a difference with this color. Uh, maybe, be, maybe because you need to apply it on its own and not on top of a color. But this will still give a definition. So I'm just going to literally pack this color right on top of my sandwich and this is going to slowly make the inner corners darker and again i'm going to be lightly fading each color that i use into the outer corners so you can definitely see this color a little bit more it definitely made my sandwich a bit 
darker and that's what we want like we don't want it to be super crazy bam in your face right away later but not now next one i'm taking is called break same brush same technique and i'm going to be applying it in the inner corners again right on top of the other two shades that we put in there already So before going ahead and applying the dark browns, I'm going to go ahead and apply a skin tone color. And I'm going back with the I'll Be There For You palette. You guys have seen this before. I've used it in my first tutorial for the Series 3. And I'm going to be taking Chandler's Drop. Um, because this palette does not really have like a skin tone color, the Ross palette that I'm using. So I'm just going to go back into this palette right here. So I'm only taking Chandler's Drop and just blending it outward just to blend all the colors to together this color will just smooth out the effect and the blending look next one i'm taking this is called juice box and i'm going to be taking it with a different brush this is dirty because of the other eye and this one is really a nice brush i really like it this is the morphe jacqueline hen gh35 the other one was from mac and it's the 224 brush and i am going to pack juice box into the inner crease and i'm just going to pack it first and then i'm going to be blending it out and me blending this out and i'm only using circular motions like that with a very very light hand and this is going to help blend and fade this color with all the shades that we put in there I don't know why it just like clumped up here in the corner. It just landed in a perfect spot for me to do that cut crease kind of thing. Leave it like that and try to blend as much as possible. To help with the blending, just take your first brush and blend all these colors together. Then also go back with the skin tone color and just blend everything out as well. I'm going to be taking a little bit of Yeti from the Big Palette. The same brush that I used, uh, Juice Box. And I'm just going to pack this right on top. And this is really going to give you a nice effect too. I love this color so much. Like this is probably my favorite brown shade at the moment. Paley Rays, what are you? I think I've lost you today. I just used you. I lost my P. Louise. I don't know where it is. I found it. It was under my makeup wipe. I'm gonna go ahead and take my P. Louise and I'm going to squeeze a little bit of that at the back of my hand here, little blob. And I'm gonna be taking a little brush to cut the crease and I'm cutting the crease in the inner corners. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna start from the middle. So I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna go along. Okay, and now I'm gonna, I'm still gonna go down with it, and I am going very low, so I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the other eye as much as possible. And I'm just going to somewhat create like a, a very, very light wing with the peel weaves, but not so much. I'm just gonna take my finger and pat it into the skin. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up all of that. And I'm also bringing the peel weaves into the inner corners a little bit and just having a little bit of fade in here. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it out again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that up and remove as much brown on the lid as possible with the P. Louise. Oh, no! It's alive, but nothing is going well today. Just an FYI. I need more coffee. Next color I'm taking is called Leather Pants. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this color and apply it all over where we did the cut crease. And I'm going to put it all over that P. Louise primer. This is a very, very nice color and I would recommend that you pat it on first and then sweep it in place because I feel like when you do sweep it, it, the shimmers show way more. So just pat it in first 
and then slowly like sweep it in and this is gonna go everywhere and I'm, then when I'm getting to the outer corners, I'm just going to sweep it and blend it into the skin. Now I'm going to take a little bit of juice box and just with a smaller brush. And I'm going to enhance it and make it a bit darker. Um, especially on like the uh, where I cut my crease right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pack that in. But again, applying it very, very lightly on your brush. And then just slowly build it up but don't go too crazy because you don't want to go over leather pants you don't want to hide it and if you find that you did just grab a little bit more of leather pants and go over that crease line and it will just come back to life and hide the darker shade now i'm going to take a little bit of yeti from the other palette and i'm just going to blend it together i'm going to take a little bit of juice box with a more definer brush lightly going over that line and making it stand out a little bit more now comes to the liquid liner i'm gonna go ahead and wing out my eye i will be fast forwarding this step um, if ever you do want me to create a one-on-one -on -one liquid liner or a winged liquid liner let me know in the comments down below and i'll be more than happy to do that for you guys but if you guys are wondering, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It's one of my favorite liners ever, especially this is brand new, so it glides on like butter. So I'm going to go ahead and wing my eye, and I'm keeping a thin line on the lid, and keeping it thin as possible. I don't want to make it so thick, even though I was feeling on making a thick line today, but I really liked the way it looked on this eye, so I kept it thin and casual somewhat so let me go ahead and do that on the other eye and i will fast forward this step all right so the liner is created and now i'm gonna take juice box right here i'm going to add it on the little blending brush and this is only going to go in the outer corners and i am going to smoke it out and i'm going to drag it right under the liner keeping a light hand because i don't want it to be super dramatic now taking that big fluffy brush that i use for all the first shades and i'm going to start blending this out and I'm also going to be taking a little bit of break and I'm going to blend it out. I'm still using the big brush. I'm not taking a small one for this effect. I love this effect, by the way. And then a little bit of my sandwich and I'm going to blend everything out. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Yeti from the first palette and I'm going to pack it just a little bit, especially in the outer corners right here. Pack, pack, pack. Now I'm taking color called Ick from the I'll Be There For You palette and this is going to go into the inner corners. This is such a beautiful highlight color, by the way. And I'm going to pack it on the tear duct as well and bringing it a little bit inwards. Next, I'm going to be applying a skin tone color in the waterline and I'm using my MAC. Uh, this is the chromographic pencil in NT15 and W20. Mine is really, really small. I need a new one. I love this pencil so much. And I'm going to be generously applying this on to the waterline and all the way in as well. So I'll go ahead and apply my mascara and lashes. The lashes that I'm using are from MFMA and these are the Pro Light lashes and I have two pairs stacked together. I will leave the link on where to get them in the info box down below. You can also use my coupon which is LBBYND for 10% off as well. Check out the info box. Everything is going to be in there so let me go ahead and apply my mascara and lashes the mascara i am using is the one and only they're real from benefit i'll go ahead and apply them and i'll be back to finish up the face with you guys 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and contour using this palette right here. This is the Highlight and Contour Palette, also from Makeup Revolution and Friends. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this color right here and this one right here. I make Mukachino and Chai. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab those and go ahead and contour my face. I added a littlest amount of it and I loved how it looks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of enhance it a little bit more with the powder and just make it stand out a little bit more. Now I'm taking chai in there. When I do just that little definition, just in the corners right here with a darker shade, I just feel like my face look completely snatched. So that's why I like to do that. I'm taking a little bit of that as well on the temples too, just a tiny bit. And I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. I'm going to be taking Mochaccino to do that because I just don't want it to be super crazy out there. And I take it with a big fluffy brush, which I've been loving so far for contouring my nose. And this one is from Morphe and Jaclyn, JH30. It's the best to do that nose contour. I love it. For blush, I'm going to be taking the eyeshadow palette. I'll be there for you. And I don't know what I want, to be honest. I, I really want to try Kips on my face and maybe mix a little bit of chicken pox. We'll see how that's going to look like, but I'm not going to overdo my face because these are quite pigmented. And I just mixed both shades and I'm going to apply that on my cheeks and see how it looks like. Oh, I like that. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna add a little bit on my nose as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken pox right here on the temples just to kind of make it a little bit more blushed. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face. I'll be using this one right here, but I'm also going to be using um I don't know, I have three and always I get mixed up. In my last tutorial <laughs> before this one, I didn't show you guys, but I did use the Rachel one and I really liked it and it smells like strawberries and I really, really, really liked it. Um, 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 you know what, I'm gonna use Rachel again. Um, I mean, they all do the same thing. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. This is the uh, Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing primer and setting spray so I'm just going to go ahead and use that this when you have dry skin or like you feel like your skin is like tucking when you put your makeup add that and trust me your face is going to be so smooth and I love it I'm going to wait till that dries up a tiny bit now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face I'm going to be taking this palette right here and you guys guessed it I'm going to be taking Ick on the top i love this color so much for highlight so i'm just gonna pack it right there again keeping it very light not so much on the face i don't want to overwhelm my face with shine even though we all love that i love it oh my god look at this shine obsessed and i'm going to highlight my nose temples a tiny bit For lips, I did get the kits, but I feel like I really want to try the gloss from the series one and it looks like that. This is a bright pink color and you guys don't see me use these colors often here on my channel, but honestly, I love this color. I loved this color when I tried it on when I was doing my series one tutorials and since it's a Ross palette today, I'm going to go ahead and use Ross, but I'll be using it with the Rachel lip liner because it's also pink so let's go ahead and see how this combo is going to look like on my lips so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the liner first one thing I noticed about the pencil is that it's like broken I'm not sure if it's all like that but it's not because it's dried no it's like super creamy and I love the way it just, you know, glides on my lips. I love it. I don't know why it's like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the gloss and see how it's going to look like. Ooh, it's actually really nice. Okay, very nice. I love it. 
so much it's actually really nice with this look so let me just go ahead and fix up my hair and i'll be back to finish up the tutorial with you guys carol baskin killed her husband whacked him Alrighty, you guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun creating this look. If ever you decide to recreate this look, please tag me on all of my social medias below in the description box. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. I would really, really, really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, just leave them all in the comments down below. Again, like every video of mine, all the products that I use on my face, everything is going to be in the description box down below. Check out all of the products that I use. I list everything on there for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I wanna wish you all a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.